You went last year, didn't you? I've been the last couple of years, actually. <laughs> I have, I have been. We've had some you, good fun you there. Come for it. Have you ever been to a music No, festival? I haven't. I've been to a music festival, and yeah, but I haven't been to the festival. This is a good one because it combines an awful lot of stuff because it's great music, but it's also great well, food. Well, I've made five children, six cheeses, and seven albums. That's a brilliant so... stat. <laughs> if you haven't got that tattooed on your body, you do. <laughs> well, it's, it's a lot of work, you know. It's a complicated <laughs> beastie putting on a big, yeah. big music festival. So, so the idea, the first time you wanted to do this, logistically, so you, you buy, your, buy your farm, Fall in yeah. love with it, and uh, and this is you know this yeah, is I mean, that, where my heart is now. That's what I really sort of blur. All wanted to go off and do different things. Uh, I got married, bought this derelict farm in the Cotswolds, and uh, started making cheese and children, and uh, and then it's, it just it just sort of seemed like a good idea to try and you know combine all the fill, fill the farm up with all the things that, that I love. love I love the most. And then invite us all to come and stay, which is <laughs> lovely. Well, one year we came, and I think it was Basement Jacks were headlining, so that was brilliant fun. We all had a good time, and then we woke up the next morning, and Mr. Tumble was on the <laughs> yeah. So really, it's like that perfect Hell of a thing blend. to wake up to. <laughs> yeah, really I mean was. that's the first thing we do every year is book Justin Fletcher yeah. and the Cuban Brothers. I mean, then we know we've yeah. got a party. But yeah, my kids absolutely love camping. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So well, this is sort of camping with, no with knobs on, really. Yeah. Well, uh, also you've got Faithless, you've got Cribs, got Della Soul, got Louisa Johnson, uh, hosted on stage by Joe Wiley. And so that, that you know, music, brilliant music, all sewn up. Um, but it's also a celebration for people who love food. Well, yeah, it's incredible. Since we bought the farm, really, it's incredible what's happened in British food and cooking. Like over the last fifteen years. Cookery school is that? Yeah, yeah, the kids, year, the kids, all... kids cookery school. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's, there's a cookery school for kids, and, and um, there's also a big sort of cookery demo stage. So you've yeah. got like Michelin star chefs tossing pancakes. Like it's like ten thousand people going mental. <laughs> it sounds like your sort of thing, Phil. I mean, you uh, you love all this and, and also promoting food, promoting chefs. Fantastic. It's always the way, isn't it? You've got to come down, man, to a turn. I did get invited last year, actually, if I couldn't make it. Uh, well, it's uh, August bank holiday weekend, so yeah. some people Is that when it is? Away. So yeah. bank holiday weekend, the 25th to 27th of August. You have brought with you something very <laughs> special here. This is Blue Monday cheese. Named because? It's, well, it's named after my favourite uh, New Order song. Blue Monday, yeah. which was famously a 12 inch, because mm. this is about seven and a half. <laughs> tastes and better I didn't that size. Know. Yeah, because that, that's it tastes better that so That's part of the recipe. The size of it makes a difference. Yeah, and like blue cheeses do generally tend to taste better when they're a bit bigger. You don't want to buy the you know the small still ones you get. The, 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 the little ones don't uh, don't generally taste taste as good. I did have other cheeses to bring you, but the kids got at them. They, well, one <laughs> of them is one that allegedly Her Majesty has enjoyed. Indeed. Yeah. Who told you that? <laughs> I got a text from Mark Hicks, a chef who's appearing at Festival this year. He said he was like, guess who's eating your cheese? <laughs> HM. And it was the, and it, well, that's good. And it was and it was the goat it was the goat's cheese. That was a little wallet the goat's cheese. That was the first one I made. This one, this one nearly killed me. I mean blue cheese, when you get it right, it's it's the it's the the most delicious mouthful. Why I, is it I so think. tricky to do then blue cheese? Uh, um, cheese competitions do tend, generally tend to be won by, they don't get won by mozzarellas or ricottas. It, blue cheese is quite a sophisticated mouthful. Actually, with blue cheese, you can smell thousands of different smells, but you can't actually taste that man, many different tastes. There's only about seven different things you can taste. Blue cheese, when it's absolutely on song, it's all of them at the same time. It's got wonderful savouriness, it's salty, it's sweet, bitter, it's sour. I think we you're talking well, about. Well, just, uh, just have a little... Just is that, do you just scrape it off the yeah, top? Is that do. how you do it? Uh, ironically, this is, it could probably do with can being... Can I put it on a yeah, cracker? Yeah, do put it on a cracker. Well, how would feel. you like yours? I'd just like oh. mine on my finger, just, please. Just, just, spirit, I don't just, wanna, just I don't sticky wanna, fingers, John. Mr yeah, Vickery, do you want to come try <laughs> some of this, please? Come on, have a, have a nibble. So this is a, cr this is a creamy blue, so it's more like a... Blues tend to divide oh, into really good. crumbles I'm and creamies. I'm not normally a blue cheese fan because it mm -mm. freaks me mm. out because I'm a whip. Oh, blue. But that's really nice. That's re also really creamy as well. Isn't yeah, that yeah. Too I wanted that. I wanted to get that cream. The Stilton, which is a traditional British blue, yeah. tends, tends to be quite crumbly. But the, yeah, I wanted that that cream. That's really nice. That's probably mm. the only blue cheese I think I've ever eaten that I've actually liked. <laughs> How you know what I'm like? I never eat it. That is about twelve weeks. I would say. Could do with warming up a little bit. <laughs> Ironically, well, that'll happen. Day day <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much. Mm. Enjoy your uh, festival, first of all. Thank you. I hope, hope you'll come again. I, I probably will be. <laughs>